Good morning, my name is Julie from So Unique and today is Sunday the 29th of March, I think. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just enjoying a nice frothy coffee, don't know if you can see that, in my new bunny mug that I got from DK Maxx a few weeks ago. I'd completely forgotten about the mug. Uh, it was only when I came to unpack the bag for the Easter decorations that I put up a few days ago that I thought, oh, it's my mug, <laughs> so I must use it. So, here we go. Oh, that's nice. It's a bit warm though. <laughs> uh, right, well, I'm out in my sewing room as you can see and I've got an order to stitch so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get a little bit of structure back into my day because I've been lacking the last few days and it's not good. It's not good sitting around doing nothing. So a bit of structure. So I'm going to stitch this bag and then it'll probably be lunch time. So I'm going to try and make sure that we eat lunch at a proper time today because we've been out of sync the last few days and yesterday my lunch was at four o'clock which is not good it is not good at all so it's um yeah it's getting back to as normal as we can now and uh, yeah I've been looking through my rhubarb recipe as well this morning while I was doing a few things and I'm going to be doing something this afternoon. Um, I was going to go and pick some rhubarb before I came out here but the weather's been really bad this morning. It looked really nice and sunny when I got up. I mean I didn't get up. It was about half nine I think when I got up which was not too late really. And the sun was out. I thought, oh, I'm going to have a nice day today. And then gradually as the morning's gone on, it's got darker and darker and miserable. And we've just had some hail. It's quite cold out there. It's gone off now, though. Because if it was hailing, you'd, you'd hear it tapping on the window. But yeah, that's gone. So I'm sat out here doing my thing and I've got a selection of sort of projects that I want to make a start on today. Um, I've got my Peter Rabbit cross stitch kit which I've got all the bits now and I've just I just found out my it was a, it's a plastic box it's only sort of like that about that deep and it's got a pair of scissors in a thimble a needle threader and lots of gold needles in. Now I bought that Oh, it must be two years ago when I was going to start cross stitching again and I I did a little bit because it's packed away in the wardrobe and it was on a sewing machine and it's got all this kind of fancy decoration on this sewing machine and it just sat in the wardrobe and I'd totally forgotten about it so I think that is something else to do but I'm not I'm not I'm not getting that out to do now. That can wait. And of course, I found my other plastic frame, didn't I? Because that's where it was. <laughs> if I'd have only looked, I don't know. So I think today I'm going to try and get all the threads put onto bobbins, and then probably bind the edges of my fabric and stitch my mark into carve it and quarter my fabric so I'll be good to go and I've cleared a little space here in my craft room this is where my other this is where my Janome little Janome sits on here so that's sat on the floor at the minute all covered up uh, so what I'd like to do maybe starting tomorrow is set aside an hour a day just to do a bit of cross stitch because like I said, I've got my lights out here and I've got a magnifying glass out here. Yes, it's sat, sat over there. I mean, my light in the front room is fine. I can um, put the, the, what is it called, the temperature up because you can have it as a warm light or a cool light and it's really bright. It does throw a lot of light into the room. 
and that's perfect for stitching and knitting it's, it's really good but I don't have a magnifying glass in there and it would have to sit on the side of the arm because my magnifying glass is probably about that size and it's on a like a snake neck a bendy neck with a weighted base which which is fine and it might sit on the setty arm but if the cats get up there it could get knocked off and then it'll probably get broken because it'll probably fall off and hit that arse so I don't think so I think I'd better keep it out here so yes so I'm going to try and have an hour it's not going to matter what, what time of day it is so long as I put an hour in on the cross stitch I would like to do with that especially now you know it's just adding a little bit of something different into my day um and i probably think it's time to get out the stripy socks the easter stripy socks that i started last year i know the pattern is from jewels so sweet violet i don't know what the card is i don't know if it's a bunny sock so it's got like little little balls of bunny tails down the back of the socks so yes i was getting close to easter I don't think I'll get them finished though, but that's that's probably my next project. Uh, what else am I doing? To be honest, I think that might be it because I would like to do a bit of baking and that later on, but I thought I'd do that later when I'm cooking tea and that. Otherwise, you know, I'm not getting any sewing done, will I? Uh, what else? What else? I'm just looking around to see what I brought in them. I think that's probably about it for now. Um, I think winding the bobbins up and everything like that on my embroidery kit, that will take me long enough. So hopefully I'll catch you on a bit later on. Well, I've just managed to get all my threads on the bobbins, which is good. That's taken me a little while to do. Um, my canvas is in the hoop and I've just found my centre and stitched that out. And I've just started to stitch. And that's as far as I've got. <laughs> oh my word. This is going to take me some while. I'm using 14 count fabric. And I've only done four stitches and my eyes are tired already. <laughs> this is, um, yes, I think having an hour a day is probably the best thing to do. But I've got my, got my trusty magnifier here, which is brilliant. I'm so glad I've got this. Um, this is by the Daylight Company, this one, and I've had it years and it's really good. 
comes up every now and again. Um, I did have a little magnifying glass. The glass was probably only about that size with a little light on, on a, on a bendy arm again. And it used to clip and I could clip it on embroidery frames and things like that. But And it got a little base as well. It was like in two parts. It's called Mighty Bright. And they are still available on Amazon. Um, they range from probably about £10 upwards. The one exactly the same as mine, um, I did see on Amazon for £30 which is quite expensive uh, but I found mine out yesterday and of course oh, I've done the stupid thing hadn't I put it away with batteries in so it's absolutely no good because it's wrecked it which is disappointing because I've, I've had that oh my god I've had that absolutely years I first bought it for when I used to go to a craft class, now I'm, I'm going back maybe 20 years, maybe 20, 15, 20 years or something. And I was doing Pergamano, and it was more for the, like when you're sort of doing the, the pricking. And it was perfect just to fold up and stick in your bag, and you could take it anywhere, so it was really good. Um, like I say, it got a clamp on it, and then this clamp slotted into a base. And I'm sure there might have been a magnet on it as well. I might be wrong there. It might be another one. But yes, it was really good. And it, it lasted me well over the years, unfortunately. No more. It's gone. <laughs> oh, never mind. Because I thought, oh, shall I just get another one? But uh, no, I'm not spending that kind of money on one. Not for the amount I use it. And if I sit out in my craft room... I've got plenty of light in here and my other magnifier can sit on the side so I think this is where I'll be doing my cross stitch. So I, don't, I really don't know how long this is going to take me to do but I think it's going to take me a long time. But I'm, re I'm listening to my book uh, so I've got my Kindle on which is nice. I haven't been able to sort of listen to any books for quite a while and I've, I've missed reading. Um, so I've just finished my first book one in the Lady Hardcastle Mistress. Um, I got all them off Amazon and thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, it's set, when is it set? 1930s, I think. Yeah, I think it's 30s. And it's really good. I really enjoyed it. It's... I've probably said before I class it as a cosy mystery so at the minute I am now I've just started book two and death beside the seaside so Lady Hardcastle and a maid Flo have gone off for a week's holiday so I'm on chapter three and there's no murder yet so I'm sure that'll be coming up soon <laughs> oh dear but yeah cozy mystery very nice i mean at least on amazon you can um listen to a um part of the, you know a little clip of the book which you know try it have a go anyhow i'm going to stop now because it's about two o'clock and i want to go and get some lunch because i'm actually getting hungry <laughs> oh, i've had my lunch we had ravioli on toast, which was, it was nice. I like, I do like ravioli. It's only tin ravioli, but I don't mind. We like that. So I've come back out into me, into my craft room, and I've been doing a little bit of crust. <laughs> oh, yes, I got started, and I had to unpick it. I was a row out for some reason, and I don't know how I managed that, but I've spent, <laughs> I spent an hour and a quarter and that's as far as I've got and I'm doing his jacket oh, it's going to take me ages to do this <laughs> now I know why I stopped doing cross stitch oh my word it is so tiring on the eyes and I've been to have a magnifier sat in front of me 
Oh, no, I don't know. <sighs> I think, I'm, I mean, now I've started, I mean, I bought it. I'm not going to waste, obviously, I'm not going to waste my money in that by not doing it. And it's Peter Rabbit and it's something I want. So I will do it. I will persevere. This could take me a long time to do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> I think maybe next time, maybe I ought to have a, a canvas with larger holes in, maybe go up to, I wonder which way around does it go, I'm 140 in count. I'd have to go down, I'd have to go up to 8 count, wouldn't I, to get a little bit bigger. 12, no 12, 12 count, is that the right way? Do you know, I can't remember which way around it is, but <laughs> if, I, if I do any more, Oh, mind you, I suppose I could get some hobby glasses, couldn't I, really? Or, or maybe it magnify. Mind you, having said that, I have got a pair of glasses that have got the magnifying lenses on that you clip onto your own glasses, which they actually work quite well. I had them a few years ago. I forgot about them, actually. Uh, I can't remember why I bought them. What was I? I can't remember what I was doing. And they really are good. The only problem is... When you come to take them off, the weight on your nose, oh, it, oh, the pain in your nose was terrible. I don't know if it's just my nose <laughs> or what, but yes, the pressure on there was not very good. I'll have to have a look and see if I can find them, because like I said, they were good. I'll give them a try. And I think if I do, if that, if that works... Um, I probably will only be able to have an hour, but you know, an hour every day or whatever is better than nothing, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll get there at some point. Well, I've had my fun now. <laughs> now it's time to get some work that I need to do some sewing. So, um, yes, project bag. Actually, two project bags now I've got to do. So that's good. That'll give my eyes a little bit of a break. I must admit, apart from that mistake, which was really annoying, because I, I ended up being a rower, I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. What I did do, though, is I got Jake to... Um, I always photocopy my patterns. I never mark the originals. And we've enlarged the pattern by 150%, which has made life a lot easier because that is the actual pattern in the book and that and that's what i'm left with now and this makes life so much easier the page i'm working on um is sat down here at the side of me and yeah makes life a lot easier and um, what i really need to do though is find my magnetic board with my magnetic strips I have got two of them somewhere but yet again it's a long time since i've used them so i don't know where they are <laughs> so i will have to find them out that will make life better because i don't want to move my root because i've got a metal ruler on at the minute actually i'll flip you around and show you my little work area oh there's my ring light which i've just turned off otherwise you'd have got a glare and here we come down there's all my threads that's my frame there's the rest of my patterns and my madeira set with the uh, the needles in over there and here's the pattern that i'm working off so as you can see i'm just using uh, a ruler and a pencil to mark it and i've got my kindle here and um, that's my light so it's quite a bright area but like i say i am sat on a stool and it's a bit uncomfortable i think i need my my other chair but yeah i might actually come back to this later we'll see depends how tired i am <laughs> well um i have had a productive afternoon i managed to get one order finished um that's due to go out tomorrow 
and I need to do another another order so which I will do in the morning then I can go to the post office tomorrow and do a bit of shopping while I'm out which will be good uh, so I've just been doing a little bit more cross stitch I will show you <laughs> you can see I've done something this this part is the, the top half of his jacket so that little bit there that's his arm so it's not really big I mean it's I think it's about eight inch altogether I think so and I must admit I am really enjoying doing it I think I've sort of got used to to the magnify being there mind you I'm just looking at it good over the clean <laughs> so I'll probably get that done tomorrow I could actually quite easily sit here and do a little bit more but uh, I'm not I'm gonna go in I don't want to strain my eyes too much because uh, uh, Ada's a bit funny to use because the hole is there but you can guarantee there's always a strand of thread coming down where you don't want it <laughs> I nearly made another mistake I thought I'd made another mistake and I'm like oh no don't want to be on picking again uh, and I hadn't I hadn't I hadn't and then I thought oh I've not done enough stitches on one row and I'm like oh no not again and I don't I turn my frame round. <laughs> so this time I put top on. I mean I can see by the shape now, which is obviously this part's coming up to his neck and I'll be fine, but at that part I couldn't I didn't know which way around I was, so <laughs> I put top on. It doesn't take much to confuse me some days. But no, I'm enjoying it, so I'm looking forward to to tomorrow to be able to come back out and have another hour or so tomorrow well I'm, I'm going inside for my tea now um Kevin's actually making tea nothing fancy <laughs> jacket potatoes microwave jacket potatoes baked beans and cheese I just really fancy that tonight first thing he says is there instructions on how to cook potatoes so I said yes it's on the back <laughs> so that makes a change for somebody else doing the tea instead of me so looking forward to that and i'm also looking forward to uh, getting my knitting out so i might not be back on again tonight so i would just like to say thank you for joining me today and i will see you all tomorrow bye for now